So what about the last 10 nights? What is the most productive thing you could do in the last 10 nights of Ramadan? Last 10 nights of Ramadan to me is just ibadah, ibadah, ibadah. Forget the world, just you and God mm-hmm. and His Word. Recite as much as you possibly can. Memorize as much as you possibly can. Spend, enti- spend time at the masjid as much as you possibly can. Seek forgiveness from people. As, that's a spiritual exercise. Seek forgiveness from people as much as you possibly can. Forgive others as, you, as much as you possibly can. Think in your mind about people you've got a grudge against for years. Make a list, write it out, the, your hit list. <laughs> and call those people and make amends with them. Mm-hmm. And, and think deeply about who you may have offended, realizing it or not realizing it, and make amends with them. The, this is the time to make the most of you know, to, this refining yourself is not just about being spiritual and praying more. It's also about fixing your relationships with other people, right? Especially with family. Start with family, work towards close circles, then work towards business aff- affiliations, etc. There's a ripple, right? The people closest to you, all the way to the people furthest from you. And so, you know, too often we talk about how we have to be productive in the community and we have to do political activism and social activism. That sounds great. I mean, I, I agree with it entirely. But that's out here. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of stuff that's messed up right here yeah. that you're not even looking at. You know, you're not even you like acknowledging your, your your mom. You're not even being kinder to your dad. You know, when's the last time you gave him a hug? Mm-hmm. Something simple like that. You know, this is how last ten nights is about. Like to me, it's about extra you know uh, reflection on oneself mm-hmm. and where their gaps are in life mm-hmm. and what they should be doing to to improve them.